Hi. 2017 could be the year when finally the strain doesn't only show, but goes haywire, big style. Could a political social logjam at last break and give away? The ingredients are glaringly obvious. Just about everything from the torturous non-existent Brexit process, the housing crisis, right through to the overwhelming sense of insecurity, division and alienation. Look at what passes as the main opposition. Labour. Jeremy Corbyn. Millennial fee fervour from the hundreds of thousands of new recruits to the gloomy predictions of Fabian centrists who say, probably realistically, that the Parliamentary Labour Party could be reduced to 150 seats in the next general election meltdown. One example of this could be in the forthcoming Copeland by-election, Labour could lose to the Tories, UKIP sucking away thousands of their votes. The great Corb himself has been conspicuous by his absence for months. Although, it seems, we're about to be treated to a broadcast that will attempt to humanise him as the captain of the sinking ship. Talking of sinking, that's the way the much-touted momentum is heading. Split between authoritarian Stalino-Trotskyites and the more numerous naive new members who believe in some sort of democratic accountability. A vicious clash followed by disintegration is inevitable. There is also much rumour of Labour's becoming more populist. What does this mean? Migration controls? If they do... It will be an unconvincing fudge. If they really want to go populist, they should protest about our patriotic Tories selling industry, housing, finance, lock, stock and barrel to the super rich investors from abroad. But they won't, as they have been equally responsible when in power. On a local level here in London, they are right now socially cleansing and presiding over the construction of Tens of thousands of luxury apartments that scar the horizon. Populism, even the left-wing variety, is entirely beyond them. Let us hope Labour fade or disintegrate into the limbo they richly deserve, that the hundreds of thousands of who recently enlisted due to the Corbyn mania finally wake up. Some of their energy could be redirected into a real transformative revolutionary movement outside of zombie labour and reversing the drift that seems to be uncontested to the right. But labour must die along with their parasitic left. People on the streets are expressing the fact that things cannot continue as they are. It's inarticulate, anger, bubbling frustration. I've heard the words revolution, civil war mentioned, but out of context with a vague lack of... Uh, Brexit despair fueling much of it. But not all. There's a growing hatred of the elites. Even the acknowledgement they exist is a progress of sorts in this country, as it's assumed correctly that they are diametrically opposed to us in everything from attitudes to interests. Right now, a form of right wing populism is in the ascendancy, but it's harmful to the establishment due to its destabilizing factors. As anarchists, we're not part of the left or Labour. We're cautiously optimistic about unexpected change, having the freedom, unburdened by ideology, to be imaginative, transgressive, revolutionary. We don't fear the unknown and we welcome class struggle. As easy as Labour could be swept aside, so could the accumulated reaction, because it has nothing to offer apart from stoking and feeding irrationality. When we awake from passive acceptance, this could be pushed aside. But it ain't going to be without tremendous upheaval, with plenty of despairing and negative moments. But we've got a fair dose of the latter already. As I always say, something's got to give. But where, when, how, who can say? So, have a happy, insurrectionary 2017. Bye.